Oh wait, got my shadow. What's going on, Facebook fam? It's your girl Sheree Robin. We are uh, live and evening color, hanging out on uh, the patio out here in Duluth. Uh, but I'm jumping on this evening because today has been a day. And it's been a little minute since I've been able to hang out with you guys and give you guys some real entrepreneurial breakdown, some good information, um, just trying to grow you and strengthen you and make sure that you are ready for the journey, you know, that you are prepared for the fight. And every day, all the time, uh, being an author, being a ghostwriter and an editor, a publisher, all those amazing things, I meet people all the time who want to write and publish. Um, they want to live off of their gifts. They want to share their story. They want to share their message. But seldom do people really understand that entrepreneurship is a grind, right? It is, and it's not, and it's not a grind like I might feel like doing it. Um, I think I may, you know, hang out and do some work. It is a consistent, every day, twenty four seven, round the clock. You eat entrepreneurship for breakfast, kind of thing, right? It is not for the faint of heart. And it's going to challenge you, you know, living off of your gifts, stepping out there on faith. It's going to be a faith walk. You know, it's going to put you in places where you're not accustomed to asking for things, where you're not used to um, asking for your value. It's going to put you in places where you don't know sometimes what your packages are, are or what you're really worth or how your tax breakdown is or, you know, what do you pay staff or how do you, you know, keep all your books in order. There are things that are going to take you outside of your comfort zone tremendously. I mean, above, like, more than you could ever, ever think because you've never been exposed to things this way, right? In, in your nine to five, you go to work, you do what your job duties say, and then you get a check. You don't have to be creative. You don't have to think outside <clears throat> think outside the box. <clears throat> Excuse me. You just go and you do the job and you get a check because that's what a job is. But when you're working for yourself and this creative genius that has to come in and pay the bills, that is taxing on your brain and it is going to stretch you to places that you have never, ever been before, ever. And so my word for you this evening is don't faint, right? Don't freak out. Don't freak out when it doesn't quite feel like you're winning you know because sometimes there could be days where and even myself in business we got days where we wake up in the morning we make eight thousand dollars this morning then they'll be like we, we didn't make no money this week you know sometimes it can be difficult and it's trying at times but you cannot give up the fight and understand it when you start to feel like i don't know what i'm doing i'm not quite sure that's not when you quit like you don't quit then that's when you tag in help that's when you reach out to other people. That's when you tap into some resources. That's where you get support. You don't fall off the trail because you don't know where you're going. You get some support to navigate that thing. If not, the only recourse is that you step out on faith and then you crawl backwards to go back to your nine to five or back to a job. You've got to understand that entrepreneurship is going to make you uncomfortable. It's not going to always feel good. It ain't going to always feel right. It's going to feel like you have lost your mind. You're going to be eating ramen noodles for a week. It's going to stress you out. Hear me when I say this to you because I think that people often are looking at, uh, what's the saying? You're looking at somebody else's chapter 20. You know, you on chapter one, you're looking at their chapter 20. It happens all the time. So you're looking at somebody like, oh, she living big or he doing big things or they dropped their book and they out here on tour. You have no idea the magnitude of work that they put into getting where they are none none of the the sleepless nights none of the coffee runs none of the empty bank accounts none of it you have no clue so when you get to that place where it's like oh my gosh this is really challenging I, sometimes like do who told you it was gonna be easy as who told you that that living off your gifts that walking in faith was going to be easy I just want to know because I smack them in the face like that. It just makes no absolute sense to me why people think that this is just going to be a walk in the park. I'm going to drop my book and I'm going to be a bestseller and it's going to be everybody just going to buy what I got because my name's Sheree or because my name, whatever. That ain't how it works. You got to do the work and you have to understand that it's going to challenge you. It's going to challenge the hell out of you. So be prepared for the fight. Understand that when it gets a little sticky, when it gets a little like whose idea was this? 
That's when you hunker down, hunker down and you dig yourself in deep and you get support. You should be a part of mastermind groups. You should be connecting with entrepreneurs. You should be networking. You should not be an entrepreneurship by yourself. No way. No how. No possible way. If you've never done it before, if you're brand new to business, if you are out here by yourself trying to figure it out on a solo dolo, you're going to drown. You have got to connect yourself to somebody, some other resource. I say this to you guys all the time. Having a mentor, having somebody that's going to say, it's okay that you're about to jump off the bridge because I've been there. Why don't you take a step back and we can go get some coffee and reevaluate things like you're going to need that. There's no other way to get to success other than having that kind of support system. So I want to shout out to all of my amazing entrepreneurs who are doing incredible things on a daily basis, who are living their best lives, who are exercising their gifts, you know, who are working to fulfill the vision that God has put on their hearts. Keep at it keep at it. If you're an entrepreneur, make sure you drop that I'm an entrepreneur in the box. Or if you've been one of those people who's been thinking about living off their gifts, what is your gift? You know, I want to be an entrepreneur. Let me hear what you have going on for you. If you are um, an entrepreneur, write that in the, in, the, in the chat box. I'm an entrepreneur, you know, because maybe we need to have that. Maybe that's something that I can do for you and support you. So there's a mastermind group and, you know, put something together because you got to consume and eat this thing all the time. I'm a fiction uh, junkie, right? But when I switched over to entrepreneurship, I had to put a lot of fiction books down. Like I had to put them down because I needed to get into marketing books and branding books. I had to get into how to strategize my business. I had to get into understanding how to put my books together. Not my books like the book, the writing books, no books like numbers, like dollars. I had to figure all of that out, right? That's a part of the process. And it doesn't come just because I thought I should know it. No, it's real work. It's real work trying to figure it out. And it's real work paying people to do those jobs for me, right? That's the job, like, that's the responsibility of it. That's the heavy hitting, that's the heavyweight part of being an entrepreneur. It is not, it ain't easy. It ain't easy. So I want to shout out to all my entrepreneurs. Understand that if you're uncomfortable, that's okay. That's cool. You good. Grow with it. If it's taxing your brain, you about to drive, you're just driving you crazy. That means that you on the right path. If you are uncomfortable, that means that you're growing, you are growing, baby. Grow with it. Don't freak out from it. Don't run from it. Don't haul ass and quit. and do, ah, Give up. Now you're going to go do something else. Now you're out here looking for a job trying to polish your resume. But you got all these skills. You got all of these skills. Keep at it, guys. Keep at it consistently. No problem, love. Keep at it consistently. You just you have to understand. If it's freaking you out, you're probably on the right track. Like That's, <laughs> that's the real. If you're about to lose your mind, that means that you're hitting it right. <laughs> that means that you add it right. And get help. Get help. Sometimes I'm like, I look at numbers sometimes. I'm like, I did not do this already. My brain is like, I'm backwards. I, I, hold on. Let me get, excuse me. Let me get somebody else to help me with this because I think I'm losing my mind. And then, yeah, this, okay, this is what you need to do. Here, boom, boom. And I, oh, okay. And then, you know, you know what I do? I take a nap. I take a nap. I take a damn nap, okay? I close my eyes for a minute. I walk away from my laptop and I take a nap because I'm like, this is, I'm about to throw this thing out the window, but I can't because I need that. So I just take a nap and I take a minute. I take a walk. I go to the gym. I breathe for a second, but I don't quit. I don't quit. And you can't quit. You have to make up in your mind that you are not quitting, even when it gets uncomfortable, even when you're broke, even when you're dead, dead, dead broke. And I had this conversation with somebody earlier, even when it don't look like, the money's coming in. Guess what you need to be trying to do? Figure out another way to get some money in. That's what you need to be trying to do. Like that, that's, there's no other option. You can't quit at that point. You have got to figure out ways. That's what the, that's the gift of entrepreneurship, right? Is that you can, if you're working a nine to five, you do what they tell you to do. You get your 40 hours, you're done. As an entrepreneur, you can sit here and creatively say, oh, I can teach a class. I'm going to charge X amount of dollars for a class. I'll make quick four, 500 this weekend. That's entrepreneurship. So you have to be able to problem solve. You have to be able to think on your feet. You have to be able to see what's going on in the industry, in the market, the trends that are happening, all this stuff that's going on with this whole R. Kelly thing. If you are an advocate for women's rights, then you need to be on, you need to be having conversations. If your book is talking about the things that you have endured in childhood and you were molested or whatever from your freaking uncle, you need to be having conversations and talking about this because that is leverage. That's how you get out there. People ask me all the time, oh, I wrote my book, but how do I market it? What's your message? Share your message. Use your voice actively use your voice you got to do the work and that's the best where people are uncomfortable like oh i don't want to share i don't want to talk then what you want to do you want to write a book and hope that everybody buy it that's going to fail <laughs> i can tell you right now if you're not going to to take the leap if you're not going to stretch yourself or allow yourself to be stretched then stay at the job stay at the job 
Get the consistent check. Because if you have to be able to be uncomfortable. You have to be able to think on your feet. You have to be able to recognize that you don't know everything. So tap into other resources, connect to other people, mentorships, mastermind groups, all of those things. But recognize that it's going to push you. And if you don't want to be pushed, you just want to lay back and collect the check, then there are other things in the world to do than be an entrepreneur. But even that, like, again, I think that's what people look at people's chapter 20, like, oh, they eat and they live and write. Do you know how much they had to put in to get those things in place? Do you know how much I had to grind, how many sleepless hours I had to go to, to endure to get the systems in place in my business, both of my businesses? It's not, I didn't wake up and go, oh, that's how you do that? Oh, one, two, three, and then it's done. Ah, hell no. It was work, tedious work, hours, days, years worth of work to get established to a place where I can live and chill at a, at a certain level. But I'm still going because I ain't where I want to be yet. I'm still going. It's uncomfortable sometimes. There's a thousand things to do sometimes. But I bet you, guess what? It's going to get done because I'm, I'm not finna quit. I ain't finna quit. So you can't quit. Okay? And understand that entrepreneurship is uncomfortable. No other way to shake it. It ain't going to be easy for you. So, you know, you guys, I try to give you all the real every time. I don't want to sugarcoat nothing for you. I, I never like to give you this fairy tale delusion that it's just, it's a simple, smooth process. I want to keep it 100 with you guys because it's possible. It's going to challenge you, but it's possible. It is absolutely doable. It is 100% possible. You just got to have some, some gumption and some stick to okay? I don't even know how to spell it. So, but that's the real, okay? Stick to it. Understand it's going to push you. It's going to make you uncomfortable, but it's so possible for you. Entrepreneurship is a beast. And it ain't for everybody. It is not for everybody. It's not for the people who just want to sit down and collect the check. That ain't it. I don't know what you want to do. Those are the people that y'all need to get in a car accident. I don't know. Not even in a bad way. But the other day, before we moved, me and my daughter, we were driving down Broad Street. And there was like a little, boom, a little fender bender. Sis was in the middle of Broad Street like, laid out you know why because she's gonna collect that check because that's what she's waiting for she's waiting for the oop she's waiting for somebody to make her life easier so i'm gonna just lay out on broad street from a fender bender because i'm gonna sue them and get all oh, i couldn't move i was paralyzed oh i'm dying i'm dead so she on broad street for 40 minutes till the ambulance come because she finna get a check like my integrity ain't at that place if you are that kind of person god bless you good night but if you know that you got some gifts and you can maximize your gifts and your talents baby go hard go hard go hard or go home all right. I love y'all. Hope that y'all have a dope evening. Uh, it's chilling out here in the, uh, in a Duluth. Uh, but uh, just finished dinner with my girls. Got plenty, plenty more to do this evening. I got a, actually, I got two more meetings tonight. So I love you guys. I want you to stay encouraged. Um, and drop in the box. You are an, an entrepreneur. If you're checking this out on a replay, hit hashtag replay so I know uh, what's going on with you folks. But let me know where you are in your space, entrepreneurship. Um, you're very, very welcome, folks. Hit those likes, those hashtags, uh, replay, and share, share, share for folks so they get this information, they get this knowledge, and that they are motivated and inspired to keep pushing. We can make a difference. We can change the world if we exercise our gifts. That's the only way. And I'm a storyteller, so I'm an advocate for sharing your story. That's it. You got to pass it down or it gets lost. And we've had enough erasure as a people, so let's not have that. All right? Share your message, share your story, share your gifts with the world. I love you guys. Good night.